when parents come in for an evaluation, um, I, a model that I find very helpful that I use with almost all of the children is uh, Dr. Jean Charles stages of reading or, and literacy development. It, what, the, what the model does is it gives us a kind of signposts and, and guidelines as to what to do with the child. So knowing those signposts is enormously helpful. I'm going to run through them very quickly so you have a, have a, a handle on them. In stage zero effectively is from birth through about the end of kindergarten. All children follow the stages, but some go through them at different, different uh, you know, rates. So stage zero is kind of like that preliminary stage, uh, early sound development, letter awareness, uh, learning you know, rhyming patterns, games like that. And it leads into stage one, which typically corresponds to first grade. And it's in this stage where children are learning their sight words, uh, learning early decoding activities. And the marker for leaving stage one is when the child has mastered the ability to, you know, blend basic sounds together, like a, a nonsense word pattern like GAT, G-A-T, GAT, uh, or being able to read sight words fairly automatically. So they're taking little baby steps toward decoding and reading fluency. I tend to think of stage one as you're on the bike. You know, you're, you might not be a great bike rider, but you're on the bike. A little wobbly, but you're on. Stage two is getting that wobbly bike rider to be a little bit more proficient. And the key to stage two is to do a lot of, of practice, a lot of oral reading practice. So if your parent having them read a lot of the Dr. Seuss books at home out loud, uh, any of that kind of thing, that helps build fluency and gets the child through stage two, which typically ends middle third grade. Uh, so, so doing a lot of out loud reading to the point where decoding is no longer an issue. It's now, uh, you know, a thing of the past. They can decode and, and read fluently. Stage three, means from typically third grade forward to, uh, you know, through through middle school really, is, you know, now you're on the bike. Okay, how do I become a better bike rider? How do I, uh, you know, what, what activities will lead me to be, become a more proficient reader? So a lot of comprehension building, a lot of answering inferential questions, drawing conclusions, predicting, and vocabulary development are classic stage three. Stage four really is from high school, you know, and I don't really want to dwell on it, but basically it's how to, you know, becoming a much more worldly reader, someone who can adopt different points of view, um, much more higher order thinking, critical reasoning, and then that leads to those of us who are from, you know, the end of high school for the rest of our lives becoming uh, a sophisticated thinker and reader, uh, which represents stage five. So. In summary, if you know where your child is, it helps you to decide what you should be doing in tutoring or what activities you could be doing at home. And you should talk to someone in your community who can help you to identify what stage you think the child may be in if you are uncertain yourself. Thank you.